The purpose of this lecture is to look at the structure in terms of our cash flow statement. I E7 provides us with a template. Now, let's just take this one step back. Why do we prepare a cash flow statement? A cash flow statement is there to assist us in terms of a reconciliation between our bank account balances compared to our profit and loss in terms of our annual financial statements. Therefore, we perform a comparison, a reconciliation. Now, when you prepare your cash flow statement, it is extremely important that you think cash, money, bank, inflow, outflow. Now, ISM provides us with a template to ensure that all companies have the same format in which they prepare their cash flow statements to enable the users which need to make decisions to be able to compare cash flow statements. Now, when you look at your cash flow statement template, I7 indicates to us that we divide this into three categories. Category number one will be your cash flow from your operating activities, which will consist out of the operating activities of the entity. Therefore, you will get these amounts from your profit and loss and from your WIP. The WIP will be your trade receivables, your trade payables, and your inventory. Then the next section relates to our cash flows from investing activities. These amounts you'll be able to obtain from the assets of your statement of financial position. And the third section will be from our financing activities, which you will be able to obtain from the liability equity section of your statement of financial position. Once you've calculated the cash flows from operating, investing, and financing activities, you will be able to reconcile that total, which will be a net increase or decrease for the year, to your bank account balances. Therefore, you will have to include your opening balance of your bank account and your closing balance. And the movement between your opening and your closing balance should agree to the cash flows from operating, investing, and financing activities. Right, in the next video, we will look at a little bit more detail in terms of calculating these amounts.